Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here. Bring you guys and gals, Spice and Wolf, we're here, we're alive, the new anime of course, episode number three everybody. Welcome, welcome, we're gonna hop right into this episode reaction. Hope everyone's doing good. So, I said this before, last episode, it was a little bit on the slower side, but it was still a very good episode because we got very needed development for Holo, or Hodo as I say, and also for Lawrence. That was very encouraging, it was nice. It was good to see the two of them, both in the highs, but also the lows at the end of the episode. Where again, Holo kind of basically insulted Lawrence and like made him remember what seems to be a very tragic backstory. So I thought that was pretty interesting. But nonetheless, seeing the two of them have that back and forth, I love the dynamic that we have between the two of them. And again, remember, they're complete strangers. There's also a time gap period, because Holo's probably much older than Lawrence. I just find their, their whole dynamic is very fascinating. But I guess we're going to see what's going to happen with this character, Zeden, who seemingly is about to trap them to something is the sense I got from episode two. He's not being fully forthcoming with the truth. At least that's the sense that we get. So I guess we'll see what happens in this episode. I see people find Zeden, but I like the... Okay, so good thoughts on this episode. I, I can see how Holo can kind of sometimes like get on people, but again, I overall enjoy her character. She looks more like a fox than a wolf, in my opinion. I don't disagree whatsoever. She does look more... The the, the color of the hair also kind of adds to it. Why I feel like she looks like a fox. Zeden Yeager. <laughs> Yo, broke man, what is up? What is good? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. As I said before, guys, Attack on Titan, rewatch. Great. Highly recommend. Anyway, guys, we're going to begin. Smash that like button. It's really appreciated. We're going to start this episode... In, let's get my timer running. In five, four, three, two, one. That is fair. But nonetheless, I just feel like her hair color really gives the fox vibes. I fully get it. Uh, Walls G, Mr. Comment. Uh, I'm drinking soju. Original soju. I do have soju as well, though. I have both. Accurate. Shippo. She does look just like Raftalia. I just say Raftalia looks like her. Hmm. Oh, that was one thing, by the way. Her hair's less orange than obviously it was in the original. Uh, I love this opening, by the way. This is one of my favorite openings. I don't know why I feel like something bad is going to happen. The way she's just like, will they recognize me? It's like, I hope not. And she, you can tell she doesn't want to be recognized. That kind of worries me. She gets the wisdom from the streets. She's street smart, man. I really do like this opening. I should probably listen to the original opening. I'm curious how the original opening is. I really like this opening. It does a good job of being both sad, hopeful, Encouraging and also foreboding in a sad way. Like even this scene where you see the villagers looking for the wheat, but then it looks like they're looking to hunt something down. I'm like, I feel like they're going to come after her.
If you watch Go Go Loser Ranger, that was all. Did this? How many episodes off of that series? Two episodes. She's so happy. Walls G and Gerald, have you seen Windbreaker yet? Because so far, Windbreaker has been very. Just from one episode, I was like, that's a very good series. In my personal opinion. What happened? Bro, you gotta get her apples. Get her some apples. Apples for days. Yeah, Gerald, you should def definitely check out Windbreaker. <laughs> Girl, get out of here. That's his money. You're just like, nah. Dang. Yo, Hodo's built different. I can't, man. Yo, you would kick her out of the carriage? She could also kill you, to be fair. She wouldn't, but... Do not disagree. Oh, Gordon. I love his name. Craft Lawrence. He's like, nah, I need a little more. He's like, dang, I need a little bit more from you. That's how you gotta do it. Gotta milk them. Oh. Oh no, what's about to happen? Huh? 
Huh? What does she know? Oh, she knows something. Holo. What does she know? Oh, shoot. I mean, episode three. Thanks for these sis. It should be episode three. Thanks, Gerald. Yo, go holo. Yo, she's impressive. Kraft is just like, dang. This is my job. She's, nah, the, the street smarts are strong in her. She's like, give me back my fur. Give me back my fur. 140 pieces. Get out of here. Two hundred? He's like, oh shoot. What? Two ten? <laughs> He's getting placed! She placed him! <laughs> Olo fleeced him dry! He's about to throw up on himself how much money that was. Dang, she can have all the apples. From 140 to 210 is in cra is crazy. I'd be tight. I'd be so tight if I was in. I'd be so tight. It'd be like me negotiating like a deal for work and then one of my friends coming through not knowing anything and just doing so much better at it. Holo's amazing. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. What? You liar! Oh, she full on lies. She didn't know anything. Oh, this is the episode for me already as it is. That was crazy. She fleeced him through a lie. Bro, as a man who was born on the New York streets, I applaud. I applaud. That was wild. That was a Jamaica Queens level fleecing. I'm dead. Is that Zedan? Zedan! Yeah, tell us the truth. He's a liar. He's a liar. Oh, like when I say someone's from the streets. No, she's from the streets in a different way. Wait, what?
No, he's up to something. It's too good to be true. Who else? Mommy, Hinami, Ichika, Yamai. Your mind's definitely for the streets. Huh? How many silver coins are there? Dang, he knocked her out. I agree. Why are there so many different coins? Completely knocked her out. Doesn't like want to talk finance to people. Knocks people out. People get bored. Their coin system makes zero sense. It's completely inefficient. Too many silver coins. You missed the chapter reaction because of work? Oh no, Veggie Toto. It was an amazing chapter. Amazing reaction, quite frankly. But all is good. The trendy coin. Like if each state did coinage and they are mostly interchangeable. I would that would kill me. A Delaware coin. The Virginia coin. The New York coin. The California coin. The Nebraska coin. Yes, chat. Rejoice. Rejoice even if you missed the stream. Rejoice. Oh, it's precious. Rejoice. Would you get inflation though? Men's definitely lying. Ha! Huh. Dang. Hey, all good vegetables. Take care. Have a good one. Dang, yo, Lawrence, get wrecked. I like Holo. Holo just knows. Holo. Girl, bro, you don't get your hands off her. Mmm. 
Get him out of here. Oh, he got jealous. Why can't he do it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lawrence is so over it. Oh, because her ears. The ears, her ears. Oh, she definitely saw something. I love these two. Of course he was jealous. Dang. But she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Men do get jealous. Some women like Ben who are jealous. Of course Zed didn't lie. This is why the penny switched from copper to plated zinc. Oh. The mother of the copper was worth more than a penny by enough to make it profitable to do so in bulk. How does she know? Is it going to use those 10 silver coins? Hmm. What's she getting at? Oh, somebody else. Interesting. What did he learn? I'm so interested by this. By the way, maybe it's because I love... I shouldn't say I love money, but... Maybe it's because I deal with money a lot and things of this nature. I found this episode really cool. Like, the bartering, the trading, and look at the, the, the value of the money. This is actually a good episode. Women want men to fight for us over them. Men don't like women being clean. I, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I do not like clingy. I think women are more... Let me not get into this. Let me not get in trouble. Let me not get in trouble. 
But I agree with you, Gerald. Huh, good episode. So I take it there's someone probably from the trading company or something else. They stand to benefit from the decreasing, I guess, value of the silver. And they're going to try and take advantage of this. So if you convince... I'm just trying to think through it. You convince enough people to take the same deal. While we think about from Zenith's perspective that he gains the benefit from there being a profit because all these are losses. Is it because he's collecting... If he devalues and collects all those silver coins from people like... Craft. Is that how they benefit? I don't know. I got questions. I'm curious to see how this all gets resolved next episode. But anyway, guys, we're going to end this one here. A very good, solid episode. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I thought it was nice. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I just want to say again, Hodo in this episode, so on point. Trick the, no, the fleecing that I witnessed of that merchant or the trader was hilarious. And then where she's able to tell the purity of the coins through, like, ears. And I heard Liner about, like, the jealousy and, like, acknowledging, recognizing, oh, Kraft jealous of the womanizer. I thought that was really cool. I have real trouble figuring out how to profit from coin debasing, I think it's called. I'm trying to figure out also, the only... I, I'm really trying to think how you would benefit from dropping the value of the coin. The only way I can see is if you had a coin of higher value than this one. Because the other coin starts losing value, then in theory, if you have a stock of other coins that are superior to it, or weren't previously, well, now you've raised the price of that coin. So let's just say they have, like, Silver Coin 1, and then the Silver Coin 2. And Silver Coin 2 is, like, doing better than Silver Coin 1, and it's more valuable, but I'm going to make this up. $2. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, you start devaluing the 2 to the 1 that's, like, worth more than $2, and you start devaluing it, and you devalue it to the point where all of a sudden this coin over here, silver coin one, has just more value than now this lower debased coin. That's the only thing I can maybe see. And maybe I'm even thinking about this too. I don't know. I got questions. I got questions. This is interesting though. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts, of course, again in the comment section down below. Like video, like video, subscribe, like my content. Everyone is greatly appreciated as always. And with that, I'm Leonard Nightmout. Take care, everybody, and of course, have a good one. Peace.